Another business hit hard by the pandemic. One of Long Beach's oldest bars is now selling off historic pieces of its tavern just to be able to pay the rent. And today, the community stepped up to help. NBC 4's Kim Tobin live now in Long Beach with more on that story. Kim. Yeah, hey there, Kathy. And this has been really a family owned, well known bar here in Long Beach. Kind of that sports bar feel, lots of beer, lots of pool tables, and a lot of fun for college kids who come out here. And this has been a really difficult time, as you can imagine. And the owner decided he was going to sell off all those collectibles, all those bar items that he's been collecting in his time as they hope to stay in business. It's one of the oldest bars in Long Beach. Thirsty Isle has survived everything from prohibition to major economic downturns, but nothing has kept it closed as long as COVID-19. You've gone down to zero, you've earned no money, but the bill still continues. The rent keeps going, the electricity keeps going. Insurance. James Du Bois has owned the bar for more than 30 years, and he's been digging into his retirement fund to keep it afloat. After shutting their doors to customers in March, they're trying to get creative to make some money to pay their $6,000 a month rent. And then there's two. So today they held a yard sale of sorts with all the bar goods he's been collecting over the years: vintage lights, beer handles, and old slot machines. And I'm thinking to myself, we'll be lucky. I'm thinking we'll get 20 people. And the line went down the street around the corner and down Lakewood Boulevard. You can see just how many people showed up as old customers and people in the community came back to show their support. So it's horrible, you know. It's um, hopefully they open up soon and uh, just good, it's good memories, good times. It, it just shows you how much they they really are hurting. You know, they want to stay open, so. It's up to us as the community to, to, to meet them halfway. James says the experience has been humbling and people are overpaying and offering envelopes of donations. A sign that was here a little this morning, the guy goes, what do you offer? And I go, I don't know, give me a hundred and a quarter. The guy goes, how about if I give you 300? I mean, the people have been outstanding. And then I said, well, give me 250 because I couldn't even take his 300. I felt horrible. A time to give back and support business owners who are suffering and hoping to pull through this pandemic. Yeah, and uh, talking to James, he says that they're still adding up the amount of items that they sold, but he believes at this point that they're going to be covering more than a month's rent with everything that they sold today, which is great news. But he says it's really hard for him to accept all of this help, all of the donations that are coming in, because he says they're the bar that's been giving back to the community, sponsoring local sports teams. So he really does thank everyone for coming out who is coming back to support them. We're live in Long Beach, Kim Tobin, NBC4 News. Kim, thank you.